Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors, back with you again today. We are getting a late, late start. It is like 11 o'clock, hotter and blue blazes, but uh, we're gonna hit the river, no current whatsoever, and uh, see if we can't pick up on some blue cats. So stick around. A couple lines I had to fix from that last trip getting snagged up and stuff but uh, getting a lay start so we're gonna come out here right smack dab in the middle of the river and uh, put on some gizzard shad put on some moon eye and we're gonna float right down the center of the river in the heat of the day and see what we can pick up we got very little to no current I got out here in the middle and we got just a little bit more so that makes me happy but I wish we had about seven to eight tenths of a mile an hour but we'll take it I got about 0 0.4 0 0.5 it's gonna take me a long way I uh, I had a buddy of mine drop me off here and I'm gonna drift the river all the way down to where my truck is <laughs> and I got a light start so it's gonna be a late evening but We'll see what happens. See what happens. It's a good day. Just need a lot of sunblock. Oh, we got a good one here. We got a good one. Oh yeah. I haven't been able to leave the GoPros on because they've been overheating. It is hot, hot. As I said, I got an umbrella up behind me. But this one here, he smoked it. Bring him up slow. We're in about 26 foot of water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna try something different today too. Put him in a net. Put him in the net, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, get in the net. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just as fun. Ah, uh, care who you are, how old you are. Oh, it don't matter. This is a blast. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> nice blue cat, right at 36 inches, right around 20 pounds. Got a measurement of him, got a picture, and now it's uh, time to send him on his way. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. I was kind of hoping to be through this area early this morning so I wouldn't have to deal with none of the pleasure boaters, but unfortunately, <clears throat> I, that didn't work out. But uh, it ain't been too bad. I've had a few. They don't cut me no slack, though, that's for sure. Super hot. I've never really had a lot of issues with my GoPros. Uh, not working, you know, just shutting off, but they are today. But I got this umbrella up, and I'm telling you what, that thing is helping a lot. Keeping the sun directly off of me, and hopefully we can put some more fish in the boat. Current is picked up a little bit. We're up to about 0.8 now. Well, 
Well, I was trying to bait up. Had two rods get hit by channel cats. And the third one went down. Nice blue cat. Yeah. Let's get him up here. There we go. He lassoed in that double hook rig. Let's see if I can get a gripper on him. I think I'll put my hand through it this time. Hold on a second. Let me fix this. There we go. Look at there, folks. Got my hand in it. Yeah, we got him. We got him. blue cat get a measurement on him and get him back oh my oh yeah I was just rebaiting up and putting things back out there in this one got hammered took it down like a pretty good fish How pretty he is. How pretty he is in that water. Pretty fish. Rippers. <laughs> Come here, silly. Quit acting a fool. Quit acting a fool. He knocked the camera sideways. Uh, we'll get him back in the water. Thank you, buddy. So, I have figured out that if you're fishing one of these kayak tournaments, it's a lot more difficult than what you would think uh, with this board and trying to get uh, fish measured and get a picture of them with this this card, these numbers you gotta have and you gotta see its left eye. And I give it to him, to the guys that do this all the time. This is, it's more difficult than just grabbing a fish, weighing it, putting a tag on it, and throwing it in the live well. <laughs> Them fish do not wanna lay still on that board. Although this, it's called a Fat Boy Musky Bumper Board. Made in the USA, great board. Uh, expensive but you know it is big it's very big but uh, but it seems to work good uh, we're out to make a little move got a barge getting ready to come down getting around the corner I can see it just poking around the corner up there and have to make a little move get out of its way but uh, keep at it we've caught some nice fish today
Boy, we went a long way with that bite there. Finally picked up on another small one. These little blue cats. Another one for the gizzard shad. A hot summertime bite. Come here. Quit acting silly. Oh, there's that one. Let's see what we got on this one back here. Oh, this feels like a better fish here. Man, he, oh yeah. Good fish. <laughs> I'm telling you what, they are hammering that gizzard chat. Absolutely hammering. Get this other rod out of the way. What he let on to be would start with, but a good fish. Golly. Did open up there. There we got him. Nice fish. Get him measured, get him back in the water. Take another look at him before I let him go. Beautiful blue cat, beautiful blue cat. Nice one.
get up in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice fish. All right, one last look at him. We got him measured, and uh, we're gonna put him back in the water. There he goes. Man, that's awesome. Well, folks, I think that's gonna do it for us today. We got a barge going by us right now. I got about a half a mile to the boat ramp and about an hour till day, uh, daylight left. So time for me to get to it. Get out of here before it gets dark. I don't wanna be out here after dark. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a hot one, but we caught some good fish and I really enjoyed today. Middle of the day, dog days of summer hot 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 <laughs> middle of the day but uh the fishing was hot too so can't beat that thank you guys for joining me today hope you enjoyed if you did hit that subscription button share the video if you like it until next time god bless and we'll catch you guys on the water <laughs>